Um, as you can see, it's a little bit different. Uh, it doesn't look like a house anymore. Um, so starting with the hallway, this before was like a second doorway. So obviously this was the porch. This was the second doorway. Um, where you're currently standing is where the water tank and the boiler will be. And um, so we're going to have like a like a boiler room almost <laughs> here. And then on this side will be coats and shoes for tenants to put. So it'll be a nice area for them to put um, all of that stuff. Into the hallway, um, well, an extension of the hallway really. This is going to stay as um, this sort of off suite for the um, bedroom that's going to be what is currently the garage. So the doorway will come out of here and it'll be like a short distance to their bar from here. So originally, we were going to divide this into two bed, uh, sorry, two en suites. So we're going to have to move this out here, move this wall out there to create enough space. And when we thought about it, um, there was quite a lot of structural work that was going to be needed. There's going to need to be steels gone in, a lot of faffing about. So I rejigged the, the layout. And what is currently, or not anymore, but what was the kitchen is going to be a bedroom. So it means that this can just stay as a bathroom for that bedroom and they're going to have their own bathroom which I'll show you in a minute but that means that this area now which was going to be a bedroom here is now going to be the kitchen which will link into the soil stack and waste pipes all go that way now um, and the living area so it's going to be all open plan which you know maybe there's good things and bad things about that but I think it uses the actual structure of the house much better so yeah the kitchen over there lounge, dining area, TV here. We've got a really nice big under the stairs cupboard, which is way too big for what we need it for. We just need a hoover and a mop and bucket iron board, that kind of stuff in there. And then this was the kitchen, but this is going to be a, bar, a bedroom now with what was the utility room, which will turn into the ensuite for that bedroom. So it's going to be a really big ensuite. Um, Obviously, because this at the moment is the same as the garage, it's going to have to have damp proof course put in. Um, but yeah, so that's all down here. Obviously, new new windows and doors going in everywhere. So if I take you upstairs, okay. So this is upstairs. So this was a like airing cupboard had the boiler in, and that's all been ripped out. This is going to turn into an ensuite for this bedroom here, so this will be blocked up and then we'll knock through here to get through into that um, that ensuite room. So other than that, this room, not an awful lot's happening in this room obviously other than decorating new windows. Coming through to here, this was the bathroom, um, which was a really nice bathroom, doesn't look quite so nice anymore. Uh, this is going to be, I don't know if this is the smallest bedroom, I'm not sure that it's the smallest, but it's certainly the most difficult in terms of trying to get the furniture in. This has caused me a lot of headaches, but I think I've finally done it. It will have a door going through into its ensuite, and if you come in here, you can see this is where the ensuites are going to be. So this, this room here is going to be divided into two ensuites that run like this. So this one for that bedroom and this one for that bedroom. Um, so this room and that room are pretty much the same size but the reason why that one is a bit of a headache in terms of furniture and this one isn't is because this one has got a wardrobe here so I don't have to accommodate a freestanding wardrobe in here whereas I do in that bedroom so this we're going to just keep the same and, and use what's here really and so then finally into this bedroom which is the biggest one um, this one again has the, the same wardrobe as, as next door so we don't have to have a freestanding wardrobe here it's going to have an ensuite built here so you can see the line here and the lines on the walls there so it kind of be like this um, so yeah shower toilet basin in there bed, bed um, there's I mean this room has just got so much space it's even got an over the stairs massive cupboard so the tenant in this in this room has got yeah, loads and loads of space and stuff. So yeah, that's the update for this week. As you can see, like so much has happened here already. Um, and 
yeah, we'll be, see what happens next week. But yeah, it's quite a fast pace this one. Um, and we'll show you around next time.